Cubase 5 comes with two new VST instruments, and this is the first one called Loop Mash. This is a way to mangle up a whole bunch of loops and make brand new beats out of them. So what we're looking at here is the main interface of Loop Mash with eight separate tracks, and it's upon these tracks which we will drag loops. So I'm going to open up my loop browser and I'm going to drag some drum loops onto those tracks. So now Loop Mash is playing that first loop in its normal entirety. Now what Loop Mash does is when you drag a loop onto one of the tracks, it slices it up into little bits and in fact each one of these little bits is an eighth note so as we step forward and back using these two buttons we hear each individual segment now to really start using loop mash you need more than one loop so let's put another drum loop in that's a good one now I have two loops on two different tracks, and you'll notice that all of the slices are slightly different intensities of color, with this one having little white brackets around the top and the bottom. That's the currently selected slice. But what Loop Mash has done is it's gone through and said, hey, this segment sounds like these segments on the other loop. So now they can start to alternate between each other and this is how we do that these controls on the left hand side are called similarity gain that means that the more I turn up the gain on a particular track it's going to alternate more onto that track from the master track and I'm going to make this track the master track so I'm going to press play and as I move that similarity gain control to the right, you'll notice that the current slice indicator will start to pick more off of the second loop. There, that's starting to sound cool, although I do want to transpose that second loop down three half steps because it's a little bit out of tune. Now if I move the similarity gain of the master track down, I'll start to hear more and more of the second loop. But that doesn't sound as good as we had it before, so I'm going to set that back to zero. Now let's add a third loop into the scheme of things. I'm going to go back to my loop browser and I'm going to pick something other than drums let's go with bass and this thumb funk bass one sounds pretty cool so I'm going to drag that over onto my third loop mash track now I won't be able to hear anything until I start to drag that similarity gain over to the right Now it's starting to insert the bass into some of those slices. So as I step forward, you'll notice that here is the master tracks segment, and it has determined that that is pretty close. As soon as I get to this segment, it's told me that that segment is similar to that tracks segment. So when I press play, I'll hear them all alternating. But it would be nice to be able to hear some of the bass along with the drums. And I can do that by going to the edit page and turning on the number of voices from just one at a time to two. And that's pretty cool sounding loop now. Now if I want to get back to that particular loop at any given time, I'll need to go to the performance tab and I'm going to store that mashup into scene number one. Now I can go and make a new mashup and I'm even going to change the transpose a different key. 
and I'm going to store that into scene number two. Now I can alternate very quickly by using the scene buttons. It's also important to know that I can trigger those scenes from MIDI or automation on the instrument track. And I can also further edit that mashup by using some of the other controls like Slice Selection Offset, and the Random Slice Selection. I can change the amount of staccato. to make brand new beats out of a series of loops. I can also synchronize the playback of Loop Mash to Cubase so that Loop Mash and Cubase are synced together. And that's Loop Mash. It's a great, great tool to make brand new mashups of loops that come with Cubase 5 or loops you already own. Now let's move on to the next new VST instrument, Groove Agent 1.